what's causing your attitude to be negative, and how to fix it. In this presentation, we'll be discussing what may be causing a negative attitude. It may be something that is temporary, or it may be a long-term issue. Either way, it's important to identify what's going on. With a negative attitude, there's always a source, so it may be a good idea to identify that source and come up with a solution to turn a negative attitude into a positive one. With that said, we'll go over the list here shortly. Before we do, we encourage you to take notes and use them for reference purposes. This will ensure that you know exactly what may be causing a negative attitude and what you can do to fix it. Let's get started. First, we'll talk about pessimistic thinking and negative self-talk. This is focusing on the negative aspect of a situation instead of the positive. You might be thinking in the vein of, this is never going to work, or I'm never going to be good enough. Negative thinking and self-talk is perhaps one of the worst things you can do to yourself, especially when it comes to your mental health. So reframe all of this in favor of the positive. Reframe the positive thoughts as, this will work and I'll find a way, or I will be good enough. These thoughts will also be voiced aloud as well. So if you think positively, you will speak positively. Next, let's take a look at the lack of self-care. When we're not taking the best care of ourselves, this will open the gates to negativity. We may be lacking in care mentally, physically, and emotionally. So it would be a good idea to take the best care of ourselves in these aspects. One way to do this is to get a good night's sleep. If you consistently get at least 7-8 to eight hours of sleep per night, you'll wake up feeling well-rested and less stressed. Preparing for bed will play a role in how to get a good night's sleep. So if you plan on going to bed at 10 p.m., there are some specific cutoff times to follow. For example, we recommend that you power off your electronics at least an hour and a half to two hours prior to your bedtime. So in this example, you should power off electronics at about 8 p.m. at the earliest, but no later than 9.30 p.m. Another thing is to schedule a cutoff time for caffeine. For a 10 p.m. bedtime, it may be wise to consume caffeine no later than noon. Also, it may be a good idea to set the environment so it can help you fall asleep. It needs to be cool, dark, and relaxing. Another thing to be aware of is your stress levels. It's important to keep stress levels low before sleep. Otherwise, you won't be able to get any sleep at all because all the negative thoughts bubbling in your head. Finally, it's important to pull yourself away from negative environments. This includes not being around negative people or even going to places that exude a negative atmosphere. Instead, you want to surround yourself with positive people. What kind of people uplift you and make you feel good about yourself? What makes you feel good in general? Focus more on that instead of the negative things. So that'll do it for this presentation. We appreciate you checking this out, and we hope you're able to get a good amount of information from this in an effort to acquire a more positive attitude. Thanks for listening. Take care. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.